Hello and welcome, I'm Sahil Joshi. Behind me, the Mumbai skyline. It was nearly seven years ago when this city and entire country were jolted by one of the most sensational murder cases, the Sheena Bora murder case. Now the prime accused in the case, the former TV tycoon Indrani Mukherjee has walked out of jail. Over the next half hour, I will talk to you through the journey of Indrani Mukherjee. After six and a half years behind bars, Indrani Mukherjee walks free. On bail, but breathing free air. After greying and withering away in jail, she is beaming, waving, and smiling. But Indrani's trial is far from over. And the ghosts of alleged crimes still haunt. The crime thriller that riveted all of India. Is back with a brand new chapter. Indrani walks free. As she was under trial for allegedly murdering her daughter, Sheena, she had become a shadow of her old glamorous self. No one could believe that this lady with grey hair, dressed in salwar kameez, travelling in police vans was Indrani Mukherjee. But when she walked out of Haikala prison after six and a half years, Indrani was fully made over. Her hair was dyed. She was smiling and waving. She left jail in style in a sleek black Mercedes. Smiling, waving hands, hugging loved ones. After spending six and a half years in jail, Former TV tycoon and murder accused Indrani Mukherjee walked out of the Baikala jail on Friday. Out on bail, the 50-year-old accused of killing her daughter, Sheena Bora, preached forgiveness. Do you blame anyone for this particular incident? It's, it's all, you know, it's all forgotten. Six and a half years of yours lost. Empathy and forgiveness. I've forgiven all the people who have hurt me, that's all. After a long prison life, Indrani is now expected to stay at her sprawling flat, Marlow, in posh South Mumbai. Today I just want to look at the sky at night. I haven't seen the night sky for two and a half years. Indrani says she's writing a book. Not a memoir, I'm writing something. A book? Yeah. Something is cooking. Yes. What is it about? I think I have seen, you know, life from a different lens now because, you know, there's, I mean, I've met people from all, all walks of life and uh, it's, it's a journey, like I said, it's been a journey and of course I've learned to be more patient, <laughs> you have to be patient and uh, more empathy. The Sheena Bora murder case had hit global headlines in 2012. Indrani had allegedly kept the real identity of her daughter Sheena from everyone, including her husband at the time, Peter Mukherjee. She had allegedly introduced Sheena as her sister to all. Indrani is accused of taking the help of her driver, Shamvar Rai, and her former husband, Sanjeev Khanna, in executing the gruesome murder that shocked an entire nation. Sheena's body was allegedly burned to ashes in a forest. Since the arrest, Indrani has separated from Peter Mukherjee, who is also a co-accused in the case. In March 2022, Indrani had written a letter to CBI director stating that Sheena Bora is alive. I, I cannot talk about the case right now, the matter sub -judice. Any questions regarding the case, you can speak to Sana. Yeah. 
अभी मैं वो केस के बारे में कोई बात नहीं कर सकती जो कुछ भी आपको पूछना है इनसे पूछना Indrani has now come out of jail after securing bail from the Supreme Court on Wednesday. She is not allowed to leave India without the court's permission. Indrani has also had to surrender her passport before a special court. She is barred from contacting any of the witnesses in the case. Indrani also has to attend the trial regularly without seeking adjournments. It was from right here that Indrani was arrested on 25th August 2015. Now after 7 years and spending these many years in the prison Indrani is finally back here at home now she's really hoping that this entire trial against her will speed up which has been moving at a snail pace and will come to its logical conclusion soon with cameraman Sahil Chauhan in Mumbai Vidya for India today Out of jail after nearly 7 years Indrani did not show any signs of stress or remorse my colleague Vidya was the first journalist to speak to Indrani Mukherjee Indrani's first words to India today were empathy and forgiveness listen in to what she told Vidya empathy and forgiveness i have forgiven all the people who have hurt me that's all the only real comment from Indrani Mukherjee as she left Mumbai prison on Friday was to India today after various non-committal murmurs to other journalists She literally broke her silence on India Today with words heavy with meaning. Six and a half years of yours lost. Empathy and forgiveness. I've forgiven all the people who have hurt me. That's all. But what did Indrani mean? Who is Indrani Mukherjee showing empathy towards? Who is Indrani Mukherjee saying she now forgives? Listen to the reporter that Indrani said these words to. She said that right now she just wanted to get home, take rest, and then she would decide what would be the next course of action. But she certainly seemed to be someone who has always been the person with a plan, and she, she certainly seems to be someone who will work out on that plan in some time from now. Estranged from her husband, Peter Mukherjee, barred from contacting her children, including Vidhi Mukherjee, and with several restrictions on her movements and freedoms. Indrani has had six and a half years to plan the rest of her life. I have moved on. I have moved on, and uh, you know, once you forgive, you free yourself. From the outside looking in, Indrani Mukherjee has had a journey that transported her from the lap of luxury to a decrepit jail cell, to finally discovering the outside world again. At the moment, I think I'm just overwhelmed with the freedom found again. Her grey jail cell hair is now black. Her skin is flushed once again, and she has reason to smile. Forgiveness, empathy, with charges of murder most foul still shadowing her, Indrani's journey is not over. Bureau report, India Today. It's being called the murder most foul. a famous media family a dark secret and revelations that stunned the country secret after secret tumbled out as police and cbi investigated the sheena bora murder case one half of indian media's power couple a darling of the mumbai party circuit a woman with a dark past a mother and an alleged murderer That was how Indrani Mukherjee was described when the Sheena Bora murder case hit the headlines in 2015. Six and a half years later, today, 54 years old, Indrani Mukherjee is a woman who has fallen from grace and is trying to salvage her identity. It all started with the arrest of Indrani Mukherjee's driver, Shambhar Rai, by Mumbai police. for possession of illegal weapons on 21st August 2015 it was claimed that rai during his interrogation in the weapons case spoke about his involvement in a murder in 2012 that involved his employer based on this 4 days later on 25th August police registered four cases under indian penal code for murder kidnapping tampering with evidence criminal conspiracy with common 
intention naming Indrani Mukherjee, her former husband Sanjeev Khanna and driver Shambhar Rai. The police claimed that Sheena Bora, Indrani's daughter from a previous relationship, was killed on April 24, 2012 and her body was buried the next day in a village in the Raigad district. It was claimed that the body was found in a decomposed state a month later but remained unidentified till Rai's alleged disclosure in 2015. On 26 August, Indrani was arrested by the police in connection with the kidnapping and murder of Sheena, whose body was later allegedly set ablaze and disposed of in 2012. Sheena Bora was reported missing by Indrani Mukherjee's stepson Rahul Mukherjee, who was reportedly engaged to Sheena. It was claimed that Rahul's father Peter Mukherjee and Indrani did not approve of the relationship. On 27th August 2015, Indrani's ex-husband and Sheena's stepfather Sanjeev Khanna was arrested from Kolkata. The case was transferred to the Central Bureau of Investigation in September 2015 from the Mumbai police. In December 2015, the CBI made its first and only arrest in the case by booking Peter Mukherjee, then husband of Indrani Mukherjee, for allegedly being part of the conspiracy of the murder. In 2016, Shambhar Rai sought to become a prosecution witness, claiming that he had remorse for what he had done and wanted to make full disclosure about the alleged murder of Sheena Bora. His plea was accepted. And the trial began in 2017. Bail application filed by the accused on merits and medical grounds were rejected multiple times before Bombay High Court granted bail to Peter Mukherjee in 2020. Indrani Mukherjee in her bail plea has contended that there are major discrepancies in the CBI's evidence including in the deposition of Rai and forensic experts on the skeletons found in 2012 and the one exhumed in 2015 claiming to be that of Sheena Boras. The trial has so far seen the deposition of 67 witnesses including Rai, forensic experts and others. In past half a decade, the case has taken many twists and turns. But one thing that has always been true for this particular case is that it is not a simple murder case and neither is it easy to ascertain who killed Sheena Bora. From Baikala Jail, Indrani headed straight to Marlo, her plush residence in upscale South Mumbai. Interestingly, Marlo is the same house where Sheena Bora's body was allegedly kept in car before it was disposed of by Indrani's driver and her ex-husband in the forests of Raigad. Marlow, a duplex flat in South Mumbai, is once again in the spotlight. This is where former TV tycoon and murder accused Indrani Mukherjee will stay after walking out of the Baikula jail, which has been her home for the last six and a half years. The 3,000 square feet house was once jointly owned by Indrani and her former husband and co-accused Peter Mukherjee. The murder accused couple split the sprawling floors after divorce proceedings. Marlow is a house crawling with secrets. Investigators believe it was here that Indrani kept her daughter Sheena Bora's body overnight after the horrific murder. It was set on fire in a forest the next morning. Even as the shadow of Sheena's murder looms large, Indrani will return to the Worli house where she will set her affairs in order. Here, Indrani will reportedly finish her autobiography which she began penning when she was in Baikula jail. Bureau Report, India Today. That's all I have for you on the special presentation. Keep watching India Today for more news and updates.